This video is about 10 things I no longer do to my hair. The techniques that I used to do or products I used to try, they no longer work on my hair. And you will find that over time as your hair changes, the environment, the climate, that's, you know, things that really worked for your hair in the past no longer work. That's what I'm discovering about my hair. Things that used to work for my hair or my hair, things that I used to try on my hair or things that my hair used to love or products that I used, used to be staples are no longer. I no longer roller set my hair. It takes way too long. I don't have the patience to sit under the dryer like I used to. Um, quite frankly, I get better results stretching my hair with different techniques that I use. So roller setting is a no longer part of my routine. It's no, part of, it's no longer part of my regimen. I have found better ways to stretch my hair. And the reason why I stretch my hair is because I don't blow dry. I don't, I don't like blow dryers. I think they're very damaging to my hair. I just take extra time to stretch my hair. So I no longer roller set my hair. As far as deep conditioning my hair, I no longer sit under the dryer for an hour. So I really wanted to make sure that my hair was completely like the conditioner was completely penetrating. So at times when I would get from under the dryer, my hair would be steaming. So essentially, I was boiling my hair. Was it damaging to my hair? I don't really think so, because my hair still performed well, didn't have any damage, it retained moisture, didn't break off, it didn't shed off, so I don't think it really did anything damaging to my hair, but I, maybe it probably, most would say, loosened my curls or my waves. Either way, I don't really care. I get the same results, and that extra half an hour is no longer necessary, so I no longer sit under the dryer for an hour. It's normally 15, to 30 minutes. I no longer use Mazzani conditioner. Now, Mazzani used to be a staple of mine. I used to use Mazzani faithfully, as well as Dudley's products. So I used to go between Dudley and Mazzani products. I don't know why I stopped using Mazzani. It, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I stopped using it, to be honest with you. Oh, I know why I stopped using it. They stopped selling it at Target. They used to sell Mazzani at Target, and as soon as they stopped selling Mazzani, I stopped using it. I also don't use Care Care. Hold on, let me see if I can see. Humecto. I used to say Humectico. <laughs> Care Care Humecto. I no longer use that either because, again, they stopped selling it at Target. And that's usually where I would go buy it. I don't like ordering my stuff offline. I like to go. I like to go in store and purchase my stuff. If it's no longer offered at the store, I'm gonna stop using. It. I don't care if I have to drive an hour out of my way to pick it up. I like to go get my. I'm hands on. I like my stuff in hand when I need it. I don't like to wait a couple of days for it to arrive. And I know all about Amazon Prime, but I still don't like ordering stuff offline. I no longer use Mazzani conditioner or Humecto. I no longer only use a 450 degree temperature. Now, when I first joined YouTube, I only used a 450 degree temperature. But throughout the years, especially over the past three years, I've been really, really experimenting with my hair because I am working on a project that is hair related. It's not a book, but I've been working on a project and I've been really paying close attention to my hair. I have been experimenting like you have, like you would not believe with many products, different techniques, strategies, all kinds of stuff and it's really working out so find a stretching technique that really stretches your hair to the point where it's pretty much straight then what's the point in using a 450 degree temperature when your hair is practically straight by the time you're done stretching it i still use a 450 degree temperature but it's not the only option i can pretty much use any temperature the results will be the same no longer not wrap my hair at night because before I used to not wrap my hair up at night. It was like not really a big thing. And as my hair has gotten longer, it, it annoys me. It annoys my face, it annoys my neck. So I must wrap my hair up at night. And because I design my own satin scarves and my own bonnets to the way to my liking, to my dimension, I really love satin bonnets. Before I was not a fan, but I create my own. I can make them large enough to fit all of my hair up underneath 
and it's satin from the inside and the outside. These, some of these satin bonnets be satin on the outside, but not satin on the inside. So how is, your, how is that really benefiting your hair? It looks good on the outside, but on the inside, there's no satin. So it's, my satin bonnets are double satin, satin on the inside and on the outside, and my hair literally just glides all over the place. I really love satin bonnets when I design them. Now, I still love my cotton scarves, but cotton scarves are not the only thing that I sleep in, or I no longer not wrap my hair. I always wrap my hair up at night. I no longer use coconut oil, primarily because there's no benefit to it. It doesn't penetrate my hair. It does nothing for my hair. It doesn't make it make my doesn't make my hair feel soft. Yeah, I guess it does, but there's other oils that do a better job. Organic olive oil. I like organic grapeseed oil. Those perform way better than coconut oil for my hair. So really, what's the point in having all this excess oil if you're not using it? I don't use it on my skin either. I don't feel as though it penetrated my, my um, skin as well. Now, I know I had to disable comments on that video. Every comment was about how I was using it wrong. You're supposed to eat it. I know that. It's on the, it's on the directions. I wanted to use it on my hair instead, okay? I used to wash my hair and pile my hair on the top of my head. I no longer do that. I don't section off my hair like a million sections. But I do part my hair in half. I wash one half. I tie up one side. Wash the other half. So much easier. Oh my goodness. I wish I had done that years ago. It's so much easier. Detangling is a breeze. I'll never go back to piling all of my hair on top of my head and washing it. That is a disaster. It wasn't a disaster at the time because that's all I knew. But again, I've been experimenting a lot. Now, this one may seem a little weird to you guys, okay? But again, this is because I'm working on a project. I no longer throw away my shed hairs. You heard me. I, I no longer throw away my shed hairs, okay? I think my hair is very well maintained. It's healthy. It's shiny. You know what I mean? It has length to it. So I don't see the point in throwing away all that, to me, good hair. I mean, not good hair, but I'm talking like hair in general. I don't want to throw away my hair. My hair is over 20 three inches. I don't want to throw that hair away. So what I do is I collect it, wash, condition it, and preserve it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's really been working out. So every month I have it categorized, preserved, and I've been doing this for two, over two years. It's amazing how much hair I collected in a two year period. Like I cannot believe my hair sheds off that much. And it's like, oh my God, am I going bald? Is this, what, I mean, this is a lot of hair. But obviously that is my normal shed rate. I've been really comparing notes from one year to the next. And that's how much my hair normally sheds. So it may seem like a lot. I actually shed an entire head of hair off pretty much. Yeah, in two years. So anytime I comb my hair, I have a bucket. I keep that bucket in front of me and I collect all of my hair, even the breakage. So I, I don't throw away my breakage either. I collect my shed hair and I collect my breakage. There's a reason for all of this. I no longer give myself hot oil treatment. I think the last time I gave myself a hot oil treatment, it was 2012, if I'm not mistaken. I will double check the video because the video is still up. And to be honest, I get the same benefits from deep conditioning. Deep conditioning has emollients, it has oils, it has different things in it. You know, if your conditioner doesn't provide all of those different essentials, it really should. The conditioner is pretty much built with everything it needs. Um, why do I need to hot oil treatment too? After receiving the hot oil treatment, it felt good, but it wasn't like, wow. Like, you know what I mean? It's